Uh, as we wrap up here the World Series and another phenomenal year in Major League Baseball, I want to get your thoughts on a story moving forward, and that's Joe Madden, who looks like he's going to be the next manager of the Chicago Cubs, yet we're not sure when the dotted line is going to be signed, <laughs> the T's crossed, the I's dotted. Jay, are you surprised that there's been a bit of a backlash on Joe Madden and the Cubs, considering the Cubs already have a manager? Yeah, no, I'm not surprised that there's a backlash. I mean, I think this is a unique situation, uh, but anytime you've got somebody who's displacing a guy who's under contract and who, by all accounts, did a pretty decent job with what was expected of him, uh, you know, it's a bit awkward, and it's a, certainly a bit awkward in terms of the way Madden left uh, Tampa Bay, one week professing that he wanted to be there for a long, long time, and the next week taking the first opportunity to leave once uh, that, that option was revealed to him. So um, this is a unique situation. Steven, is it all but a done deal? Rick Renteria out, Joe Madden in? Uh, I feel sorry for Rick Renteria. He does, Jay said he did a great job. He has contract for two years. If you have a chance to get Joe Madden, if, if, especially if you're a team in the Cubs situation, Joe Madden, one thing he has proven, he's good with young players. He's good at develop, player development. He's good at bringing these guys along. The Cubs have a pretty good young core that are, they're probably still at least a couple years away from serious contention. I think Madden's exactly the kind of guy they need to bring these guys along, even though Renteria did a good job. Madden also brings a little pizzazz. He, maybe he's a guy they can use to convince some free agents to come come there, too. And I can see him and Theo Epstein working well together in the front office. I think uh, if, if, it's a, if it's a bad move for Renteria, there's a good move for Madden and for the Cubs.